The athens clark County community has aggressive goals to minimize our landfill usage. Landfills are expensive to build and maintain and take up valuable space in the community that could be used in other ways, such as for homes, farming, businesses, or natural space. We want our landfills to grow as slowly as possible and last as long as it can, so that it takes up less space in our community. That's why the ACC Solid Waste Department strongly supports composting, recycling, and other waste reduction efforts. Composting is the process of breaking down organic material like leaf and limb debris and food scraps, resulting in a nutrient-rich soil amendment. Composting is important because it keeps tons of biodegradable material out of our landfill. You can compost at home by creating a space or a bin for your organic material like fruit and veggie scraps and leaf and limb debris. If you attend to your compost properly, ensuring plenty of water, oxygen, and organic material, this process can provide a soil amendment for additional nutrients in your yard or garden. The Solid Waste Department also provides a commercial composting facility at the landfill. This is used for composting biosolids, leaf and limb material, and food scraps. We are now going to learn a little more about how compost is processed and how it can be used once it's finished. We process our compostable materials on our landfill property separate from the trash that goes into the actual landfill working face. It is important that we clarify something now. If you have food scraps and other organics in your trash, that material will not be composted. At that point, it's too late. Compostable materials must be separated before they make it to our facility. Now that we've cleared that up, let's talk about the details of the process. Leaf and limb collections from throughout the community are transported to the landfill property by specialized ACC solid waste collection trucks, landscaping companies, and by individuals. That material is processed by a commercial horizontal grinder that mulches the material into smaller, more manageable pieces that will compost faster than the whole materials. That mulch serves as our primary carbon source in the compost. Food scraps are also brought to the landfill property separately by ACC solid waste collection trucks, community compost collection companies, and by individuals. Materials accepted in the commercial composting operation include fruits, vegetables, meat, dairy, certified compostable wares, compostable bags, and paper products that are free of plastic or plastic liners. Compostables drop-off sites are free of charge and are located at Charm on College Avenue, ACC Solid Waste Administration Building on Hancock Industrial Way and near the Scale House at the landfill. Food scraps and compostable wares are mixed in with the mulch at a 3 to 1 ratio, meaning 3 parts carbon, or mulch, and 1 part nitrogen, or food scraps. That mixture is then placed on a series of perforated pipes in a system called aerated static piles. Each set of four pipes is connected to a blower or fan that forces air through the pipes and through the compost pile. This allows proper airflow and optimum oxygen levels throughout the material without having to turn the pile. This material is piled about six feet high and as wide as we have room for. Our current piles are roughly 60 feet long and 60 feet wide, which is roughly 22,000 cubic feet or 800 cubic yards. Prior to the aerated static piles, we used a system called windrow composting, which consisted of 8 to 10 rows spaced roughly 10 feet apart to allow the loader to drive up and down the rows, pulling the windrow turner over the piles, turning the inside to the outside and the outside to the inside. This process took up the entirety of the four acres of paved compost pad and took three to four hours each day for the staff to turn all of the material. The aerated static pile uses a fraction of that space, allowing for increased operations and processing of more total material with less staff time per yard of material. Additionally, the aerated static system takes less than half the amount of time to break down the overall material. After material is broken down through the composting process, it is carried to the power screen 
which is essentially an industrial scale version of the sifters you might use to look for shells or shark's teeth at the beach. Large materials, or what we call overs, are trapped by the two inch screens, allowing the finer finished compost to fall out the other side. The larger overs are then used in the next pile of compost or throughout the landfill property for road base or landfill cover. The finished compost is a rich dark color and is full of nutrients. It is allowed to cool and balance in acidity. It is then sold to the community for $20 per cubic yard. Our customers use it in gardens, lawns, landscaping, and mixed with dirt to create potting soil for plants.